Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening Welcome. Teacher. How are you? Everything good? That's great. It's nice to have you one more time. My pleasure to be here with you one more time. And we're going to start with the class, which is number four, as you may see. That is the one we are working today. Uh, this is the first week that we have. And we're going to start working with class number four, which is pretty much um, not how difficult the content is quite difficult today, but I hope that you can get as much as you can, right? Uh, good evening. It's nice to have you one more time, and I hope everybody is okay at home, healthy, and happy. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're still working with section number two. Somebody, uh, oh, hi, David Blanco. Welcome. How are you? Everything good? Yes. Nice to have you one more time. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me see. Yes, welcome, welcome. Ingrid is here. Hi, Ingrid. Good evening. How are you, Ingrid? Everything Hi, good? Good Where are you from, Ingrid? I'm from La Libertad. Oh, how's the weather over there? Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> is it raining? No. Oh, not right. Yeah. We don't have, we don't have the rain these yeah. days. I don't know why. Maybe in, in, in August. Maybe we can have a bunch of water, but we don't have rain. I don't know why. That's not good. Good evening, Geraldine. Nice to have you. Welcome. I hope you're good. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. It's nice. It's nice to have you. Welcome, welcome. Okay. This is going to be for today's class. We're going to work with indirect questions. Intermediate English module number one. Class number four. Or, thank you so much for being here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me. Hello, tell me. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, where are you from, Delmi? Uh, Morasan, teacher. Oh, Morasan. How's the weather over there? Aramalasi. <laughs> <laughs> from Morazan, okay. Yes, I remember a big artist from Morazan, right? Yeah, do you know that's that big artist, like the big singer that we have here in El Salvador from Morazan? I remember his song, okay. Do you remember one, this big, like, singer that we have here in El Salvador from Morazan? Oh, Patricia Castellanos, welcome. Juan David. Do you know this singer that that is from Morazan, like here in El Salvador, that is very famous? Yeah. King Flip. <laughs> yeah. Holy. That one. That one. Yeah. He was, he was, I think back in the day, he was like La Niña Yanni nowadays. Yeah. Back in the day, he was La Niña Yanni. Yeah. So King Flip did it first with his music. Yeah. Uh, everybody was laughing at him. But then, he was like practicing, practicing, and now like he gets some money just by doing that, right? Uh, so um, yeah. So he's like like Nia Yani, right? Nowadays, so she's like making, I don't know, she's doing some TikToks there, and then she gets some some jobs, which is at the end is money, right? Like everybody's free to do whatever they want in this life, which is amazing, right? And in the meantime, we can laugh, we can laugh a little bit, we can enjoy it, <laughs> we wait to do it. <laughs> we can laugh, okay. So thank you so much for being here. I will take the attendance. When you hear your beautiful name, please say present or I'm here. Excuse me a minute. Oh, as you may know, this module is quite different than the other ones. Entonces tenemos las clases. El día viernes, mañana tenemos clases. Tenemos clases también el día lunes 31. Luego nos vamos a vacaciones y regresamos las clases del día lunes 7 de agosto. Ok, entonces, como ustedes sabrán, normalmente los módulos son de lunes a jueves, pero este está diseñado de esa forma. Entonces, según mi calendario, mi calendario vamos a tener clase el viernes tomorrow y el lunes. Y luego volvemos al 7, ok, y los, todos los días corridos, right? incluyendo Fridays. 
Yes. This is the way this this uh, module is scheduled. Yes. So uh, I I saw like someone somebody asking in the chat like if we're gonna have classes tomorrow. Well, certainly yes, we're gonna have classes tomorrow. Tendremos mucho tiempo para la plataforma. Excuse me. Tendremos mucho tiempo para resolver la plataforma. Oh yes, so you can have vacation, right? I hope I hope you can get some vacation, right? Because sometimes at work there are some companies they they don't give us I like like vacations in, in August. Maybe if you are from Morazan, maybe you want to have like the full vacation. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe you get just two days. I mean, people from Morazan, La Unión, I think uh, San Miguel, also Santa Ana, get only, I guess, two days. I guess. But uh, let me know if, if I'm wrong, okay? Let me know. <laughs> yeah, if you live here in San Salvador, you can enjoy the full week, okay? That's that's uh, for us because it's our celebration. But people from Morazan or, or, or La Unión, well, that's a different scenario. So let's begin with Alvaro Rivera. Alvaro. Now he is in Ana Martinez. Hello. Thank you so much. Good evening. Cesar Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Darwin Blanco. Darwin, no? Okay, now he is in Delmi Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Efraín Acevedo. Efraín Acevedo. No, he is in. Stephanie Martinez. Stephanie Martinez. No, she is in Franklin Magaña. No, he is in. And Geraldine, you here, right, Geraldine? You, you, you're right in the chat. Uh, Kevin, thank you, my pleasure. Kevin Tobar. Kevin Tobar. Thank you so much, Kevin. Welcome. Good evening. Ingrid Flores. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Good. Irma Segura. Irma Segura. No, she isn't. What about Jesus Escobar? Present teacher. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome. Jose Vaquerano. Jose Vaquerano. No, he isn't. What about Juan David? I think you wrote in the chat, right, Juan David? Yeah. Yes, thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Lucia Tepeda. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Lucia, I'm sorry, I did I mentioned your name. Kevin Flores. Kevin Flores. Kevin? No, he isn't. Yes. Uh, Melvin Diaz. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, nice to have you. Merin Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Daniela. Good evening. Milagro de la Paz Jimenez. Milagro de la Paz. No, she is in Mirna Landos. Present teacher. Thank you and good evening. Nelson Ceron. Hello, Nelson. No, he isn't. Patricia Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, and nice to have you. Patricia Castellanos. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Ronald Martinez. Thank you. Here, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Ronald. Good evening. Welcome. Teacher, oh. Nelson está en el chat. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know. Very good. Roxana Diaz. I'm here, Paul. Thank you so much. Good evening. Sandra Asensio. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Sandra. And Sandra Rivas Portillo. Present. Thank you, everybody. Let me check the chat really quick. Nelson, thank you so much. Emilio, okay. Let me check that really quick, Emilio. Give me a minute. Emilio, yes, I got you here. Attendance is taken already. Thank you so much. Let me see who else. Oh, okay. Patricia Castellanos, right? Yes. Thank you so much, Castellanos. Good evening, everybody, and welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. As you may see, yes. we're with indirect questions. That is the thing we're going to work today. 
Uh, and let's begin. We're gonna have some random thing, okay? Just because it's, it's a normal class, we're gonna have a random thing, okay? Guess the brand. Okay, let's work with this one. Guess the brand. If you know the brand based on the information you see, tell me, please. Turn off your mic and tell me. What's the brand? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Anybody? Uh huh. Yes, tell me. What's, what's the brand here? Any idea, Ronald Martinez? Ingrid, Maricela? No, I don't have ideas. Maybe Tigo? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no, yes. no, no. A Calvin Klein? Okay. <laughs> no. Thank no. You. Um, tell me. Yeah. iPhone? Oh, iPhone? yes. That's very good. That's very good. We have an iPhone. Very good. Yeah. Oh, yes. That, yeah, that, that makes it. iPhone. Very good. IPhone, yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Thank you. What about this one? This one is easy, right? <laughs> easy. <laughs> the food. Um... Guess the fruit. Ma mango. Mango. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, mango. No, mango, right? Yes, that's correct. Is it mango? Yeah, makes sense, right? <laughs> Very mango. good. Thank you. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Easy. Angry, Angry Bird. Bird. Angry, Angry Bird. Bird. Exactly. That video game that we used to play, right? When we were young, Angry Bird. Yeah, that was a very famous uh, video game. Okay, okay. We're going to work with... So Eso era igual que la, la cuestión de la sopa de, de mamá no te vayas, ¿no? Oh, yeah. Sopa de mondongo. Sí, sí. Hasta ahorita acabo de entender. <laughs> Something like that, exactly. Exactly, quite similar. Ok, we're going to have a little bit of culture, ok? This is from British Columbia, right? Colombia. Uh, Juan David, can you help me reading this information, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, ¿Se me escucha? Yes. Okay. Victoria Bridge, Colombia. is located, located on the tip of Vancouver, Iceland. It is uh, the capital city of the province of Britannica, Colombia. Canada. Victoria started as a port in the in the uh, I I don't say uh, 1880 No, no, no. 1 million. He knows 18 knows. 100 100 1 house 800. Okay. I think that I don't know what. There were many beautiful buildings then, and most of them are still uh, studying today. Victoria has a mild climate and is very sunny, good condition for a grown, growing and with a variety. Bar um plants its nickname is the city garden of gardens victoria is a popular place uh, for tourists now many people take uh, the ferry from the city of vancouver uh, which is now on the island island mm -hmm. to visit the victoria popular sites uh, include uh, the Empress Hotel and Lacon Hill Park. Thank you so much. So here we have this thing a little bit of um, Victoria, as you may see, right? Um, question for you, uh, this one. Would you like to visit Good night, Victoria? Good night, teacher. Thank you, Camilo. Question for you. Would you like to visit Victoria, Camilo? 
Oh, I, 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 sorry, I have a problem with my cell phone, so I, I didn't connect, but right now I'm, I'm ready. Oh. Oh, oh, so you missed something. Sorry. Milagro, thank you, Milagro. Same question to you. Would yeah. you like to visit Victoria? I have never been. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to ask you, like, would you like to, to ah, visit? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I, I would like to. Okay, I would like to be so Give me city. three reasons why. Oh. Uh, Excuse me, creo que en el caso de la compañera Milagro era por la asistencia. Oh my gosh. Hola, <laughs> Vichy. Milagro. Oh my gosh. Give me a minute. Attendance. Attendance. Okay. Ahorita le tomo. Sorry, con. sir. Uh, my internet connect, connection is, it was giving me some problems. Oh, so oh I'm sorry to hear that. reason why I'm, I'm late. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I understand. Thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Ana Beatriz, back to you one more time. Give me three reasons why you would like to visit Victoria. Okay. I, I would like to I would love to to visit this, this city because um, it will be a new for me, a new place for me. And and I would like to to know about the culture. Um And I don't know because I I I I I don't know about this city. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. But oh. I think so is beautiful that uh, for lo que hemos escuchado, but uh, we listen. I no sé cómo decirlo. <laughs> what Excuse me. Excuse me. What was the last part? Okay. And I go live because uh. Uh, I okay. I told you, I didn't know uh, about this city. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about this city, but but I I would like to to visit because uh, I, I I want to 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 know how is uh is there. Uh, display sounds, sounds yeah. great sounds great do you think this is an like we we mentioned here buildings right anna like yeah. do you think the buildings are new buildings or are like old buildings what is the the question oh the the, the question is like uh, oh, pretty much the comment is about like do you think yeah. Yeah. like the buildings over there are yeah. new buildings yeah. or old buildings yeah. Yeah. Uh, all building. <laughs> yeah, basically that's true, right? It sounds like Europe. Like Europe, they 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 have a bunch of old buildings, right? Like like Spain, okay. Italy, England. Okay. Uh, they have this one bunch of of yeah, old buildings yeah. that that we can visit. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Um, so this is about let's say uh, information about a city in in a, in a in a country, right? What about your city? What is something interesting that you can say when you go, for example, if you live in Morazan, right? Something that you can say, hey, please, when you come to Morazan, you should visit this place because I think this place is uh, incredible because this and this and this. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, what is one place in your city that you think, oh, it's like you can miss that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Daniela Carranza. Tell me, what is one place from your city that you can recommend or you can say to our like classmates, like, oh, you can miss this when you visit my city? Mm, let me think a little bit. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm, well, I don't have a place, but probably will be the parks specifically the what was the name of this park um centennial yeah yeah i think that's the one. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, where is located that, Daniela? Is oh my god, I'm so bad to give you directions. Uh, uh, Jerusalem Avenue. The Monsignor Avenue, isn't it? No, Jerusalem. Jerusalem or <laughs> Santa Tecla or San Salvador. Um, I think it's still San Salvador. No, it's from Antiguo Cuscatlán. Oh, oh my God. Look at, that. Look at that. Yes, Antiguo mm -hmm. Cuscatlán, right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so we have it over there. Very good. That's very nice, right? That's very nice. What about someone from La Unión? Someone from La Unión. Do we have someone from La Unión? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Nobody. <laughs> yes, two. Oh, yes. Milagro, yeah. Milagro and me. Oh, okay. One. I mean, if, if we go to La Union, right, what is one place that we can miss? Tell me. Okay. The, 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 the place in La Union is the port and, and the beach and your, your island in... in what is I Golfo in English? Golfo? I, I think it's like, oh my gosh. You got me, you got me, because I don't know how to say call for the Fonseca. Uh -huh. oh my yes. 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 What, 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 what is one name of the island that we have over there? Oh, the island is, is, is Conchagua, eh, Conchaguita. Conchaguita. Uh -huh. eh, eh, también está uh, Zacatillo, la Isla Conejo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Esas son las, las islas que están ahí, eh, incluso la que, que eh, 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 Island Con, eh, Bonnie <laughs> <laughs> is, is the island in this in dispute with Honduras. Oh, um, yeah, that's yeah. the right. Por sones. Island Lica. Over mañana. That's politics, and I don't like politics. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Let's move on with the next one. We have a conversation. She's, do you know where? Okay. So I want you to pay attention to the conversation. I will play three times. Then you take a screenshot of, the, of this conversation so we can practice like uh, in the breakout rooms. Yes. Let's listen and read. Page 11. Exercise 8. Conversation. Do you know where? Part A. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Do you know where the nearest ATM is? There's one down the street, across from the cafe. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus downtown? Sure. Just look for the signs for public transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 10 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Could you tell me where the restrooms are? Right inside. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. Page 11, Exercise 8. Conversation. Do you know where? Part A. Listen and practice. Excuse me, do you know where the nearest ATM is? There's one down the street, across from the cafe. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus downtown? Sure. Just look for the signs for public transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 10 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Could you tell me where the restrooms are? Right inside. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. Page 11, Exercise 8. Conversation. Do you know where? Part A. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Do you know where the nearest ATM is? There's one down the street, across from the cafe. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus downtown? Sure. Just look for the signs for public transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? 
They run every ten minutes or so. And just one more thing. Could you tell me where the restrooms are? Right inside. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. Okie dokie, here we have this conversation. Sandra, Asensio, tell me, what is this conversation about, please? It's about the um, NDM. Okay, very good. Who is asking for information? Who is asking for information? Uh, he, he give the dress across from the, the, coffee, the coffee. Thank you. One more time. Who is asking for information? Rachel or, or the cleric? Uh, Claire. Claire. Oh, the clerk? Rachel. Okay, who is asking, Rachel or the clerk? Rachel. Exactly, Rachel, right? Look at the, the way Rachel is. She's very happy, right? She's very happy. Look at her face. Oh, she's very happy. And look at this one, right? So uh, this is Rachel and this is the clerk, right? Okay, where is this conversation taking place, Geraldine? Where do you think this conversation is taking place? Um, about Rachel or Claire? No, I mean the conversation, the scenario, this conversation, where is happening? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Rachel, she asked how to to go to the ATM. She asked about. She come to run and she asked for a uh, bathroom. Yes, thank you so much. But specifically, I want you to give me like uh, an idea where is, is this happening? Is this happening like, at the school? At the bus station? Maybe the in downtown? Bus station? At the bus station? At the bus station. station, probably, right? Okay. Yes, right. Um, mm -hmm. Where else we can think we can have this conversation? Where do we have a cleric? Where this person works? A cleric. Where? She wants to take. She, 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 she wants to take a bus. Oh, she wants to take a bus. Okay. Thank you. And so she much. wants to. And she and she wants to know uh, how often they run. The exactly. bus. Okay. Pretty much the schedule with public transportation. Yes, right. the schedule. Okay, so uh you got you got the uh, the picture of this uh conversation, yeah. Yes. Uh Hebel, you got the picture of this conversation, yes? Yes. Oh wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much. I will open the bigger room so I can give you some time so you can <laughs> listen your partners the way they pronounce. So you can, uh, we can improve and we can practice at the same time this thing that is called speaking, okay? I will open the breaker rooms with two and three people, okay? So you can practice. Remember, if you have still have time, you can do it one more time, okay? So I will give you five minutes to do so, and then we will get back to the main room. In the main room here, we are going to have David Blanco, Emilio Acevedo, and Jesus Eduardo Escobar, you... The three of you stay here in the main room, please. And the rest of you get uh, with your partners in the breaker rooms and practice uh, this conversation. Okay? You got it? Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was very nice. Okay, let's let's join. Okay, so Hevel, Patricia, uh, Geraldine, and Irma, please join. Okay, thank you. Join. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Jesus. No, Jesus, get back. Get back to the main room, Jesus. Okay. Okay, Delmi, Catherine, Camilo, Roxanne, Mirna, and Nelson, please join your partner.
Okay, so this is this is the space for you to, so you can practice David, Emilio, and Jesus. When you're ready, start, please. Thank you. Hello, Emilio, Emilio, Jesus, 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 uh, David. Do you hear me? Yes or no? Excuse me. Hello, hello. So, sorry, teacher, to me out of the room. Oh no, you can you can stay here, Catherine. No problem. Okay. Okay. You can Thanks. stay here. Yes, and you can practice with David, also Nelson, also Jesus, and also Emilio. Okay. Yes. Uh, no, you can stay here. You can stay here, Catherine, in the main room. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Emilio. David, can you participate? Yes or no? Nelson? Okay, let me check the chat. Yes, Emilio, I need you to speak. Uh, turn on your mic. Enciende su micrófono and practice with Catherine, okay? Yes, Catherine is here and, and you, Emilio. Yes? Okay, teacher. Um, yeah, empezamos? Yes, yes. Okay, excuse me. Do you cannot wear the snare at 8 p.m.? Jesus? I can. There one, though. Uh, okay, repeat, repeat, sorry. There, 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 one down the street across from the coffee, the cafe. Green. Um, do you can know um, where I can? No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Me cuesta. Catch, catch. Catch a bus downtown. Sure. Just look for the things. Yeah. Signs. Signs for public transportation. Okay, and can you tell me how often they run? They run every 10 minutes for or, or so. And just one more, this call to tell me where the restroom are. Right inside. Do you see where that sign is? Sign? Sign? Sign. Okay. Oh, Sorry. thanks. I love. Very good. Okay. Just a quick thing. Uh, Catherine, aquí tenemos la palabra no. Okay. Entonces, la letter K es silent. No la pronunciamos, right? Entonces, solo vamos con no. Do you know? Okay. Do you know? Catch. ¿Sabe qué significa catch, Catherine? Yes. Catch, right? Cuando está jugando baseball, no. softball. Recuerda cuando jugaba softball, so you catch, catch the ball. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Patricia is here. Hi, Patricia. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had a problem. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't worry. Thank you so much for letting me know. It's nice to have you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Okay, so Catherine Jesus, very good. Okay, um, don't forget that you can practice these conversations. We have a few conversations or like this ones in the platform, okay, on the videos. I tiene los videos, so you can play the videos, listen and repeat, yes. listen and repeat, so you can improve pronunciation, right? There is one thing that I, I always say about practicing and, and the power of practicing is very good. Um, I got a I got a question here in the chat. I'm sorry for, for getting into that because that's the right moment. And Anna Beatriz Martinez was asking me how how difficult it was for me to learn English. Uh it was heavy. It was heavy for me. Yeah, no sabía ni decir ni el número uno, ni good morning, 
ni nada. Entonces, uh, créame, por eso yo lo motivo siempre, speak no matter what. Si se equivoca, no, no matter. Ok. That's, si si se equivoca, that, that's good for you, so you can improve. Everything here yes. that you're learning is about improving. And, yes. and that's why whenever whenever I insist in practicing, because that's the way I did it with practicing. You don't have to be you you don't need you don't need to be in the US or you don't have to uh, let's say travel to another country to learn English or to pronounce um like, like um uh, the English language like with a good accent. The only thing you need to do is practice, practice and practice and practice because I did it and it worked for me. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I remember when I was traveling. Uh, I used to play the MP3 back in the days, like in 2011, teníamos los MP3, remember? Yes? Yes. We, yes. So I used to like play the MP3, the city, the cities that the books give us. Yo los ponía en MP3 y I used to play them a lot and a lot and a lot. Iba ahí en el, en el, en el bus repitiendo. And the people around me, they were saying, oh, this Indian guy is crazy, right? Look at his face. <laughs> Look at his Maya face, right? ¿Cómo se está hablando que es this Maya face? Absolutely not. And believe me, eso lo motiva uno, right? When people laugh at you, yes. about your pronunciation, about the way you try, that's good. So you can motivate yourself. So don't know se chique, right? Uh, because like this thing is not a piece of paper. So that means you need to practice, practice. And there's one thing that I insist a lot with the speaking is confidence. La confidence la tenemos cuando hablamos, right? There is no way. No hay otra forma that we can get confidence in English, yes. and that is when we speak. And that's why I insist. No matter if you do mistake, <laughs> don't worry about it. Just, just speak out. Okay, so you can get confidence, right? So the more yes. you say the phrases, the more you say the words, at the end, you will get the right pronunciation. Yes. So that's why I told you, I, I don't know if I told you in my class, I know your family. In English, right? Let them know. Oh, good morning. How are you? It's nice to see you. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. that's good. I love it. Oh, you are my father and I love you. Or you are my mom and I love you. Right? Oh, it's nice to see you. Right? Typical phrases that we use in English. Use it every day. Okay? Okay. okay. And the objective that you have is, is that. Learning. Mm -hmm. And you will know the best way. In my case, the best way to do it is speaking out, you know what I mean? That was the best way. And and, and, and repeating and practicing and repeating and repeating and repeating. So uh, I insist with practice because that's a huge thing. Okay, and, and not so chique, right? Keep, keep practicing. Juan David. Um, oh, excuse me? Uh, teacher, but oh, what yes. happened? But what happened when you don't have uh, somebody that you can speak. Oh, uh, oh, you listen and repeat. You listen and repeat. You know, as I told you before, for example, I used to annoy my family, my mothers, my, my, my mother, my brothers, and my sisters. I used to annoy them, or also my neighbors. I used to let them know, hello. Okay, good morning, Niña Juanita. How are you? <laughs> nice and to meet you. Yeah, and she was like, oh, shut up, please. I don't understand. With, I don't with my with, with my people, I I say hello, Nia Juanita. She she told me, o sea, you crazy? Was, this this is this is Salvador. You speak Spanish. You you are not. <laughs> I know you speak Spanish. She was cursing at you. She was cursing at you. Saying bad words. She was cursing at you. <laughs> yeah. I just say ayote, pupusa, jura. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you gotta have a good, good motivate yourself. That's why I told you motivate yourself every single day. I know life is difficult. I know sometimes we don't have the money. We are sick, but we're still alive. Right? So, so keep keep um your objective on your goals. Yes. And uh, Anna, that's the way I did it. Yeah, uh, I was quite annoying at the beginning, but then at the end, I got it. So, um. Yes. Yeah, so that's 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 a good thing. Rona, thank you. Teacher, um, do you have another uh, piece of advice for improve the listening yeah. skills? Oh, well, at, at the level you have, 
my recommendation is, for example, I was I was asking Anna about like if she would like to visit Vancouver, right, or like this place that was in Canada. And at the level that you have is is my recommendation because the level you need to speak out a little bit more. So that's why I have sometimes extra material, not only the content. <laughs> The idea with you is like, I need you to hear you speak, you know what I mean? So you can like, oh. My recommendation is whenever you give an opinion about something, give three examples about it. Like, okay, I think smoking is bad for me because this, because, you know. Uh, there are a bunch of, bunch of websites, Ronald, with listening, uno es hello english.org. No sé si lo conocen ustedes. No. Hello English.org. Creo que así se llama. Tiene triple L, right? I think it's hello uh, English. Um, dot, org. dot org. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, but yeah, I'm sorry. It's a website for a listening, Rodal, donde tiene. Me gusta ese, ¿sabe por qué? Porque tenemos different accents. Accents from yes. China, accents from uh, South America accents from uh, Central America, accents from the Caribbean. So it is important because uh, if you work for like these areas where you get, I don't know, at the borders, right? If you were at the borders, like, uh, I mean, getting people from different countries, that will help you because the accent from them is, is different. It's totally different, right? Yes. We have an accent, an American accent, which is very clean when I speak is very clean so you can hear very well but we have different accents and we need to get used to them so we can understand English is usually the language they use to communicate right for example for people from um, uh, Brazil right they, they speak Portuguese so what they use is English to communicate with with other people unless they speak Spanish or unless you speak Portuguese uh, Okay, so uh, thank you so much for asking that. And I'm going to hear some participation. That will be you, uh, Heaven. You will be Rachel. And Sandra Asensio, you will be Claire. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me, do you know where the nearest ATM is? Sandra Asensio, thank you. Sandra? Okay, there's one down. There's one down the street across from the fair. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus uh, downtown? Sure. Just look for the same for police transportation. Okay. I uh, can you tell me how often they do? They rule everything minus or so. And you and you saw one more time, Martin. Uh, could you tell me where the restaurant are? Right. Inside, do you see where the thing oh, is? Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. We have signs. 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 They run every 10 minutes. 10 minutes or so. Very good. Okay. We're going to have this video about the grammar content. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. 
Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So, for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be, and we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we'll do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right. And then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I'll ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. So in this case, it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and yes. then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now, let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verb. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this um, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows the WH word. So in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying, the bank, we're not going to say the restroom. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use 
the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, it's going to be how often. All right. And then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is the buses. And then that is followed by the verb. And so in this case, it's no longer the verb to be, but now it's the verb leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to use a polite way of asking. So you can ask in the form of, could you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? And then it just repeats itself with do you know. So in this case, we're going to use do you know. That's the second question there. Do you know what time the bank opens? So let me go ahead and write that example now. Do you know? That follows the WH word, so in this case is what time. Then that follows the subject. And one thing that I want you to notice here is that in our indirect question, we remove the auxiliary verb. So we don't include does or do. It no longer exists in our indirect question. Do you know what time the bank opens? And the other thing that happens here is that the verb in this case will need to have an S. And that's because since we don't have an auxiliary verb and the subject of the verb is singular and we're talking in the present, therefore we need an S as you can see there. And uh, well, let's do the last one there. Uh, what, um, when did flight five Six six arrive. So in that case, um, the question could be, "Do you know?" And the WH word is when. And uh, the subject is flight five six six. And in this case, we have to change the verb to the past because we're not we're not right. using auxiliary. I uh, like we're using the auxiliary. When did fly five six six arrive? In this case, this verb is in the present, but that's because we're using the auxiliary did. So in this case, since we removed that auxiliary verb that I mentioned, we need to change that verb to the past form. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to practice the concepts that we talked about. And so, this pretty much so what I'm going to do is it's quite simple, right? Yeah. What is the main objective of these indirect questions? What is the main objective of these indirect questions? Uh, Daniela, tell me. What is the main purpose of using indirect questions? Daniela Carranza. Tell me. Daniela? Like when you're not sure of certain information? Oh, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, very good. But the main objective should be to be like this one, right? Polite. polite. <laughs> exactly. That is the main objective of this thing, to be polite when we ask questions. What this polite means? This is a normal question. ¿Qué hacemos, right? Where is the nearest ATM? But, yes. a preguntar a un stranger, usted quiere sonar a bit polite, right? Entonces, you can use the phrases. Can you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Do you know? Or, or could you tell me? Can you tell me? Yes, all right. So, that is the main objective of in the rest questions. To be polite with people you don't know. Do you know? Yes, right? But if you know the person, you can straight say, oh, where is the restroom? Yes. But if you want to be polite with somebody that you don't know, you can say, excuse me, could you tell me? Yes. Ahora, it changes a little bit. La clave está aquí. Fácil, right? Vamos a utilizar una double-edged word que está acá. ¿Sí? 
que es esta misma que tengo acá. ¿Yes? Mm -hmm. Right. Luego, escribo la oración, ¿sí? Escribo la oración como que es una oración normal. The nearest ATM is, y le pongo el verbo al final. Ahí está. Me olvido de auxiliares, me olvido de la estructura, sino que solo tengo que ocupar la frase. Could you tell me? Luego, una palabra, doublech, where, how, what time. Y luego escribo la oración como que es normal. Miren. The nearest ATM is. The restrooms are. Um, aquí tengo. Um, often the bus test run. Ok, entonces. Sí, es, lo que, es como que hago una oración después de la palabra double H. Yes. Ok. It's not something difficult that you will say, oh, um, it's not just, you just need to be like, somehow, clear about it. The only thing you need to do is like, be polite with the phrases. Will you tell me? Do you know? Can you tell me? Then a double H word like how, where, what, and then the, the sentence. Let's, let's see these examples here, right? We have the first one. Okay, where's the best area to stay? Do you know where the best area to stay is? Entonces, miren, ¿qué es lo que hice ahí? Solo lo único que hice fue hacer una sentence normal. Vamos a trabajar con la number two. Volunteers with number two, please. Me, teacher. Oh, please, tell me. Thank you. Uh, could you tell me what the best way to see the city is? Thank you. Yes, you see? Is, right? Okay. Beautiful, yeah. Could you tell me? Oh, my gosh, I let this space. Could you tell me what the best way to see the city is? Yes. Let me see. Yes. Hi. Sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't see mistakes over there. Do you see mistakes? No, right. Could you tell me what the best way to see the city is? What about the number two? Oh, no, sorry, the number three. Camilo, number three. Could you tell me how late do the bus run? Okay. Could you tell me how how late do the bus run? The buses, remember, it's plural, right? Buses run. Buses run. Exactly. That's why. Just be careful with plural and singular. Careful with plural and singular because of the rules. Okay. You tell me how late the bus is. Right? Yeah, very good. Look at this one. In the primera, cool. right? Normal. Question okay. normal, right? How late the bus is run? But if you want to be polite, you can say, could you tell me? Yes? Yeah. Um, let's work with, let me see. Could you tell me? Let's work with number seven really quick. Number seven, this one. Where can I hear live music? Anybody? Yeah, number so... seven. Number seven. Oh, yes, Anna, please. Nice. Can Anna? I? Can you tell yes. me? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? No, can 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 you tell me? Okay. Where can I hear live music? Where can I hear live music? I have lived in music. Yeah. Can you tell me where can I hear live music? Yeah. Can you tell me where can I hear live music? That is correct. 
Oh, it's like, can, pero me, como si no, so, where I can hear live music. Yes. Can you tell me where I can hear live music? We change it, right? So we change it. Aquí tenemos, mm -hmm. can I? Y luego lo ocupo como una oración normal. I can hear live music. And you can be polite using this question. Okay? Use it in direct question. Yep. This is the way we use it, and this is the main object. Okay? You just need to be playing with with the content, also with the problem. Can you tell me where? I'm sorry. Okay. The time is over. Don't forget, tomorrow we have class. Really? Okay? Well, thank oh you God. so much. Teacher, I... teacher, I have a question. Catherine? Tomorrow there are class? Yes, 100% true. Okay. Creí que llegaba a ser jueves, porque... Oh, no, no, les comentaba que este curso está todos los días. Okay, thank you, teacher. Gracias. Tomorrow, luego teacher, Monday. Teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Ana, I'm sorry. No, eh, termine. <laughs> Yo le, le yes, pregunto. O sea, okay. tenemos clase tomorrow, luego Monday, y luego venimos hasta el 7, uh, August, y luego corrido, incluyendo Fridays, ¿ok? O sea, we're gonna have... Rapidito, teacher, solo eh, no estoy en un grupo. Creo que hay un grupo de, de WhatsApp. No estoy. Yes. Oh, ok. Híjole, entonces ahí contacte a la persona encargada, eh, eh, Ana. Porque sí, okay. como no tengo su número. Este, ok. Ok. Yes, sí, contáctela para que la agregue. Ok. okay. Perfecto. Camilo. Oh, no, I want to sure. ask you. We're going to have class tomorrow. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. yes. And the other, in another week, let's, next, next week. Oh, next week is just Monday. Monday. Then we got vacation, and then we return on, on August 7th. August 7th? Um, yes. Okay, thank August, you, teacher. August 7th, vacation? Oh, no, no, no. We return. Retornamos clases on August 7th. August. Yes. Okay, August. salimos mañana. Uh, no, no. Tenemos clases tomorrow y el lunes todavía. Ah, okay, okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, perfect. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank Good you. Night, everybody. My pleasure.